Ladies and gentlemen, hello, and you are watching DTB News, some latest events in the province. And now coming to details. Ladies and gentlemen, on July 16, the Internal Affairs Emulation Block of the Nen Province held a conference to virtually summarize the emulation work in the first six months of 2021. Attending the conference, there were representatives of units in floor, including public security, military, border guard, prosecutorcy, courts, and civil judgment enforcement department of the Nen Province. Half of the emulation units in the block are the armed forces playing a pivotal and pioneering role in the epidemic prevention and control front. Facing the complicated development of COVID-19 at home and abroad, right up to signing an emulation contract with the team Unity Creativity Emulation to build, protect, and develop the new homeland. At the beginning of the year, the mentioned units have organized emulation work associated with the peak emulation phases, such as the election of deputy to the 15th National Assembly and the People's Council at all levels for the 2021 and 2020 system and suppress emulation phases of particular sectors. Upward, the armed forces of the province are always ready to fight, successfully complete dual tasks at 159 checkpoints and 32 mobile teams on the border, detected and handled 282 cases with over 1,000 objects. With their emulation efforts, over 600 collectives and more than 2,000 individuals of six units have been rewarded for their outstanding achievements in all aspects of working activities at their units in the first six months of 2021. On July 16, the delegation of the Nenbronso Red Frost Society represented by Mr. Le Wan Trung, chairman of the university, and gave gift to Hao Hong the difficult competence due to the impact of the COVID-19 epidemic and anti-epidemic forces in Tân Châu and Tân Bình District of Tân Province. In Tân Bình Commune of Tân Bình District and Tân Hai Commune of Tân Châu District, the delegation met, encouraged, and presented 160 gifts to representatives of disadvantaged family in the area, each gift worth 400,000 Vietnam dong. The delegation also met and shared with officials and soldiers of Tân Bình and Tân Hà bodyguard stations and donated 10 million Vietnam dong each to the anti-epidemic forces. A day earlier, the representative of the Red Cross Society also visited and presented 160 gifts to disadvantaged households in Long Phước Commune of Vân Cầu District and Indian Commune of Trà Thanh District. The delegation also visited and encouraged cutters and soldiers who were performing anti-epidemic tasks at Ninh and Long Phước border posts and gave each unit 10 million Vietnam dong. The visit aimed to encourage and give gifts to the forces on duty at the epidemic prevention and control post on the borderline of the Thanh district. The delegation includes the College of Education, Vocational College, and the Medical Intermediate School. The delegations presented four automatic hand sanitizer sprayers being researched and assembled by the Union of the Vocational College. Each machine is worth about 1 million Vietnam dong. The units also visited to encourage and give gifts to officials and soldiers on duty at nine border posts in three communes of Châu Thành district, such as Ninh Điền, Thành Long, and Bình Giới. The gifts included necessities and epidemic prevention tools with a total value of about 10 million Vietnam dong contributed by the school unions. During this year's Green Summer Volunteer Campaign, unions of colleges and professional schools in the province also implemented many volunteer activities, such as participating in building new star rural areas in some communes of Chetan district, such as Long Vân, Hòa Thánh, An Bình, and Hào Đức, etc., gave gifts, epidemic prevention tools, planted trees to protect the environment, organized Green Sunday with the local youth union.
to support college residing in localities apply epidemic prevention and control measures according to the government's directive number 16 have conditions to stay and live in place ensure human resources to serve at the hospital during this peak time after discussing with the family and receiving the consent of the board of directors of the general hospital Dr. Trang Thị Trưởng, working in the outpatient department of the provincial general hospital, has still 20 out of 45 rented rooms of the family for college to stay for free. As a doctor, I know the hardships of my college. When implementing social distancing according to Directive No. 16, it will be difficult for them to find accommodation, ensure their health, and have enough human resources to serve the health sector. If necessary, I'm ready to contribute a part for the country. Each room has a mezzanine and a private toilet to ensure living conditions for two to four people. Staying here, the medical staff will also be free of electricity and water costs. Before welcoming the medical staff, the rooms were clean, the equipment was also checked to ensure the best living conditions. Dr. Trần Thị Trưởng shared that Besides the issue of accommodation, if they have difficulties or need any help, even personal problems, she is ready to support them so that they can rest assured to carry out their task of preventing the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Jung also mobilized her family and friends to pack more than 50 cylinder glutinous rice cakes and nearly 200 small pyramidal glutinous rice cakes to support medical staff in the first days of their stay. Facing difficulties caused by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, sympathy and sharing are very necessary and precious. Hopefully, with the sharing of Dr. Jung, her college and medical staff will feel secure, confident, and have more motivation to continue their noble duty of protecting the health of patients. Turn to other news. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bank for Social Policies of Tung Bin District just coordinated with mass organizations in Hoa Hiep Commune to disperse the capital of 620 million Vietnam dong for 31 households in the locality. Up to now, the total outstanding loan in Hoa Hiep Commune has more than 44.8 billion Vietnam dong, worth 1,412 borrowers, in which the total outstanding loan of the Commune Farmers Union. It is 23.6 billion Vietnam dong, with 719 households having access to the loans. According to Tung Bing District Farmers Union, the total outstanding loan of the District Farmers Union is currently 155.5 billion Vietnam dong, with 5,336 households borrowing from various programs. Radic officials and farmers' unions, subcommunes, and towns have also actively mobilized their members to use loan for the right purposes. It aims to contribute to helping borrowers have more investment conditions to develop production and stabilize their lives. The Bank for Social Policies of Tung Bing District added that, as of July 14, 2021, the unit's total outstanding loan was more than 327.6 billion Vietnam dong, worth 11,905 borrowers. Compared to the beginning of 2021, it has increased by over 8.5 billion Vietnam dong, and the number of households has increased by 213. The audience facing the complicated situation of the COVID-19 pandemic in the area from midnight on July 15, Newman Yale District has implemented social distancing according to the directive number 16 of the government. After the social distancing order, the lives of people in the district are still guaranteed and less mess up. Here are reports from Newman Yale District. Since Newman Yale District implemented social distancing, in accordance with the Directive No. 16 of the government, roads and markets which once crowded are now deserted. Small businesses and then essential retail stores are closed. While people come to shop sporadically at Bat Hoa San stores in the district, the locals only come to buy necessary foods with enough quantity. There is no phenomenon of hoarding. Instead of panic and worry, People in the district have changed their daily living habits.
to soothe the general situation, joining hands with local authorities in disease prevention and control. I received one dose of COVID-19 vaccine, so I'm the only one in my family who goes out to buy things for them. Returning home, I often wash my hands, change clothes, take off my mask, and then cook for my family. When I'm at home, I have more time to take care of my family, play with my children, so I don't feel any stress or sadness at all. Generally, the implementation of Directive No. 16 is very essential for us to better control the pandemic. As for the family of Mr. Vũ Đình Thơm and Ms. Lê Thị Trang, living in Phu Tân Quan Hamlet, Phan Cầm Môn, when Yumen Châu District implemented social distancing according to Directive No. 16 of the government, their family has also changed their daily living habits. In the morning, instead of hurriedly preparing for work, now the whole family prepared to cook together, have fun together and watch TV for more information about the epidemic situation, restrain from leaving home when it's really unnecessary. Directive number 16 was applied during the summer vacation, so our life haven't changed much. Every day, I follow the school work on Zello and timely reported. The kids are on summer break, so the activities aren't to the start. I think that we should follow the government's directive. Of course, my work will be temporarily suspended, but it is also an opportunity for me to stay at home with my children, have more time to read and take care of my family. It can be seen that no matter how scary the COVID-19 is, as long as there is consensus of the people and local authorities in strictly implementing the government's regulations, the pandemic will soon be controlled and pushed back. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for joining with us and see you next time.